welcome, welcome to Sisters in the City Christmas special. Woohoo! Woo what the fuck was that? I won. I won. Is that it a winning you, thing? Is yeah. that a £20 note? Isn't that, that's what crackers are about, Mandy. What? One person wins? Yeah. That's not very Christmas spirit. Whoever gets the, the thing wins the toy. That's not Christmas spirit yeah, though, man. Get, I'm sure you can get like crackers with that, like proper gifts in them. Yeah. Like you a get, Dior lipstick or... Wait, there's people that do like crackers with like Van Cleef bracelets and shit. I've got no what present. Got? No present? No, we was... You, you got in which crackers. country did the song Silent Night originate? You I know, know I know, I know, I know. Silent night. Yeah, which, where did it? Lonely night. Yeah, but where did it originate? All where did it originate? I'm trying to think. I'm giving myself no, the inspo. No. It sounds very like French or German. Nope, it's Austria. Okay, I now, would never got that. This is a guess. Who am I? Yeah. Okay. Are we playing games right. now? We yeah. should play Christmas games. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. I know what it is. Just do it again. No, 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 no. Anna, that was the best impression of Elvis Presley I've ever yeah. seen in my life. That was. What did she even say? Words. She didn't even say words. No, 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 no. All right. Well, anyway, um, this one's for the end. This one's for be the end. Before we begin, I've got something for you, Mandy. What a present? No, not well. Don't you gave me funny flutters? <laughs> Here you go. What is it? The gift. I love it's not gift. It's not gift. What is it? It's not gift. What, what is it? What is it? It's not gift. What is it? It's ho, says, ho, ho. Yeah, just to remind you what you are. Oh my God. No, you're really like, stop it. This is so emotional. To my little sister Mandy, <laughs> thank you for being the best gift every year, every day, just being my sister. I'm so lucky to have spent every Christmas with you. Merry Christmas to many more Christmases, maybe with children and even grandchildren one day. Ha ha, I love you, Anna. <laughs> and it's still got the price tag on the back. How much was it? Two pounds fifty. That was, that was a... quite expensive, man, for a card. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> I, might as well, I might as well point it out because everyone's probably seen the price. This is so sweet. Now you have so much pressure. Do we want well, no, a Christmas card? Well, you expected a gift. I was going to cry until... It said, maybe one day with children and then grandchildren. And then it went from about to cry emotional to fear. Fulfilled with fear. <laughs> it's such a sweet card. And I love you know how it says ho, ho, ho because we're home. Yeah, I thought of you straight away when I saw it. <laughs> oh my God, it's an old man. It's my sugar daddy. It's my you know sugar what? daddy. I was thinking like, how come people don't mark Christmas cards anymore? Because they're like, just used for decor and then thrown in the bin. The new generation is like... Anna, come on. Why, what new generation, bro? It's not like we wrote Christmas cards. We did. Do you not remember school? Yeah, it was like a peer pressure I felt from colleagues that I had to write them Christmas cards because yeah. they were writing me cards. Yeah, and in school, we used to write them. We used to get them big packs and then write all Christmas cards. I don't remember anything about school. Mum used to get them big packs of, you know, Christmas cards and we used to think of everyone we used to want to write. Who did we send it to? Oh, people that we liked. It was your way of basically, like, if you didn't get a Christmas card, then you know I don't like you. Oh, no, was it? Yeah. Like, you know, I've got, like, some kind of weird memory bloss, my mum says. But isn't it sad though that no more Christmas cards? That's like, of course they do. People do Christmas cards. Who? I Who? know for a fact Gingerbread's family's gonna have bare Christmas cards in their house, everything. Really? I don't yeah. know if they do. They do. I thought that was just like the last generation of Christmas cards. But do you keep your Christmas cards? Because, bro, that should be like recycled ASAP. I for know. Me. Christmas cards and birthday cards. It's a bit. Of a weird one. But this one's keeping forever, ever. It's cute, in it? There's like these ones that people you love, like go close to you. Yeah, I keep all like my birthday cards from like mom, you. But you fucked up. You didn't write the date. Oh yeah, dad always says write and the date. And now he used to always say it. Now I realise because when I'm looking for all these old cards, I'm like, why would I keep that? I don't even know when it was sent. Yeah. But anyway. That was so sweet. It's I know, I'm cute, aren't I? Yeah, um, so cute. Anyway, look, proper Christmas spirit. We've got hot chocolates with... Not our mugs, though. Because not our mugs, because they're not. The we're too lazy to wash them yeah. from we're last like, episode. We're princesses. And then we've got marshmallows and whipped cream, but you can't see it anymore. It's our second one, because the first one, Anna made it for us, but by the time we set up, it was cold, so we had to make another one. <laughs> well, you know it's Christmas when I've had chocolate for breakfast, yeah? Mm. Like, literally... I feel so Christmassy. I know, but I've been eating so much. Like, yeah, no, I saw I that keep... cheese board on your story last night. I know, but you know what? I thought it's Christmas. You're enjoying it. It's Christmas. It's the you excuse. know one thing you said there. I won't forget. You like, if, there, if, there, if there's any time of the year to not be thinking about calories, it's December. Hundred percent. Do you know what? If there's any month. I want to put on a few kg. Don't judge me. Yeah. In January, I'll work on it. Don't judge me. 
Yeah. Life is more than just calories. Yeah. Life is about being happy. It's about Christmas. Food. <laughs> food. Happiness. Food equals happiness equals food. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, we ain't got no time to be stressing about calories and No, no, dieting no. And ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Right. So Christmas special. I got these Christmas pictures for me and Anna. She got the hats. She got the hot chocolate. She got the crackers. We got teamwork to make it Christmassy. <laughs> I put up some questions on my Instagram, like send me in your Christmas dilemmas, your best gifts, your worst gifts, some stories. I to really be honest, like these marshmallows, Anna. They're, banging in they're like little small soft testicles melting in my mouth. Mm, well, I mean, I don't know. Small testicles. I wouldn't know how that feels, Mandy. Like rat balls. Rat balls? I don't know. It's really, really <laughs> soothing. Look, blah, 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 it's really nice. Well, I didn't know you were a marshmallow person. I am now. I didn't know I was a I marshmallow person until now. I marshmallow out. Now it's just giving pornographic. <laughs> it's giving pornographic. We want to keep this very PG, very Christmas family vibe. <laughs> anyway, um, should we basically ask for people to send in their Christmas stories and blah, blah, blah. I didn't really get any great ones. To be honest, some of them are jokes. Some of them aren't that great. I mean, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey. No. Well, we're going to make the episode anyway with our own fucking chit chat. Yeah. As always. Yeah. So we I just thought, don't run out of shit. We'll start off talking about Christmas for us. Like what it means to yeah. us, like what it, what you know. What does it mean a, for us? I'm just one second. As an Iranian growing up in the UK, like what is Christmas? We don't even know. <laughs> it's like shoes mixed with like Brussels sprouts. No, we don't even make Brussels sprouts. No, so basically, literally all our life during for Christmas, every single year up until last year, it's been Persian. It's been Persian food for Christmas. We have literally Iranian food for Christmas. Mate, listen, I never ever tried a roast. A roast is basically like Christmas dinner on... A Christmas dinner is a roast on steroids. Yeah, kind of, isn't it? I don't really get that. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> like you have it every Sunday. It's a turkey it's... instead of a, like, beef and chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's and then it's like, No, but there's a few things added, I think. Like, like, Brus- like pigs in blankets. Brussels sprouts. Cranberry. They have cranberry for roast as well. Do they? Some people do. I don't know. Okay. It's basically the same. Just with maybe stuffing. Okay. It's anyway. a bit different, though. It's the same. Yeah. Okay, I swear it's the same. Oh, I don't know. I okay, mean, Google roast and then like a roast lunch or whatever and then Google Christmas dinner. It literally looks exactly the same. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Tell us the difference because we don't know. No, we're Persian. We're fucking foreigners. <laughs> anyway, basically, um, what was I going to say? I fucking forgot what I was going to say. You had a first roast for the My first time. My first ever roast, the first time I ever had one was when I met Gingerbeard. Yeah. They me literally too. looked at me like, what? You've me never too. had a roast? Mine was when I met Cowslick. I never had a roast before. It was now, like, like, what? A year and a half ago, I think. Yeah, we, that's how Iranian we are. Yeah, I didn't, never knew what it was. And I mean, I knew what it was, but I never t- I tried it. But it and was really I'm nice. Obsessed. Now I'm obsessed with roast. Yeah, it's really bang. But like, it depends. You have to go to the right place. Yeah. Um, And then, for the first time ever last year, we were like, you know what? Let's make Christmas yeah. food for Christmas. We can Christmas. do this as well. Yeah, why not? Like, I didn't do anything. I left it to Anna and my cousin because... And then like, we I- made... All of like, I went on the Google and I did re- re- search recipes and I did like the most banging, Oi. banging Christmas lunch dinner, whatever you call it. How banging was it? It was the best roast I ever had in my life because obviously the last like two years I've been having bare roasts, different places, mm. different was restaurants. So this was the best roast. It was so ever. banging. So I can't wait to do it again. Really, I'm dreading it because this time now my cousin's moved to Dubai and is expecting me to obviously help, help with the Christmas me. dinner preparations. And yeah. I don't know how. Do you know what I don't understand? Everything goes in an oven, but there's one oven. How the fuck does that work? I don't remember how we did it last year, but we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But I remember you guys were running around the kitchen sweating with your yeah, alarm clock. That's one thing I don't want to do this time. This time we're doing it all before we're prepping it. This the- time I've got AC in my kitchen as well. Don't worry. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. But imagine, guys, like literally every Christmas, we never understood like the the hype because we were always so used to like having kebabs or like an Iranian type of food. My mum would try and like stuff a chicken with certain stuff in it. Oh, that was banging. Yeah, stuff a big to... chicken with like walnuts. Right, raisins. Um, plums, raisins, It was banging. We tried banging. to make it like a Persian twist to the, the Christmas. Christmas. But, yeah. My mum, bless her, like she made, she made Christmas... Very Christmassy every year since so I can remember my childhood. So cute. We always had a Christmas tree, always presents. Loads always of presents, yeah. yeah. Everything. Bless her. But just Persian food. But Persian food, yeah. I Only can't because, complain. I can't complain. Only because she doesn't know what, how to make a roast. And like, she doesn't even know what it is. And it's the funniest thing last year when oh, I made the roast so for the first time. And I put it in front of my mum and my auntie came from Iran. And my dad. And my dad. I put it in front of them. And then 
are literally their faces was like, what is this? It's actually hilarious. They don't fully like understand it. Yeah, and they don't fully understand like knives and forks as well. Because yeah, Iranians, Iranians eat with spoons and forks. So like, it was a bit of a confusing situation. They literally picked up like the the pigs in blanket and like the cauliflower cheese. They were just looking at us like, what is this food? Like the carrots. Yeah. For basically, for Iranians, I think it's a bit like, for them basic, isn't it? Like they cut up carrots, parsnips. It's like, Iranians have got so much step- fragrance and preparation to their food and like, yeah. honestly, it takes so long to make. Yeah. Even though the roast took ages, but it was just because there was bits, loads of bits to do. Yeah. But like individually, it's They're not, not, yeah, it's yeah, not hard. hard. But like her face was just like, what is this food? But she was really nice about it. She was like, it's nice. Do you think it's they nice. liked it? Are they going to be miserable like if we make a roast again? I think, I look, I'm not going to lie. I don't think they rate it that much. Like they... I think she just was being nice about it. Yeah, but I loved, I loved it. I loved it too. I had it like again at night. But I had it on Boxing Day. we're not full. Like, we even though our parents are Iranian, we were born and brought up here. So we're always going to have a little bit of a different taste to them. To them. We're a mix. We're a mix, you know? No, actually, I'm a full breed. We're, but culturally mixed. Culturally, definitely mixed. Because yeah. culturally, we're not very like 100% Iranian. No, no, and no, we're no, not no. 100% English. We're very mixed. We're ethnically Iranian, but culturally, obviously, we're born and bred in London City. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'm um, hopefully this year it will go well as well. I'm like scared we're gonna mess it up because then what do you do? Oh, uh, then we're fucked. I have to order a pizza from just the only pizza place that's open on Christmas Day. I don't know what we're gonna do, but it won't go wrong. We'll make <laughs> no, sure it goes well. It Where are we gonna do our Christmas shopping? Mark Spencer's, Waitrose, Sainsbury's. Which one? Mm, I don't know which one. I feel like maybe M&S because M&S food's not just M&S. It's not just food. It's M&S, M&S food. food. But do you know what? I'm not going to lie. I love a Sainsbury's, you know? Yeah, me too. Since I live opposite Sainsbury's, I love it. I think we get the meat from M&S and everything else everything from Sainsbury's. Everything from Sainsbury's, yeah. yeah. It's a vibe. So anyway, yeah, Christmas. I know, you know what I won't forget is when I was growing up, yeah, and I started to realise there ain't no Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> There weren't no Santa Claus. I started realizing Anna was eating the cookies and drinking yeah. the milk. But I remember, like, I literally <laughs> all them calories she put on every year for me. Yeah, that's why I've always been the fat sister. That's why. That's why <laughs> she's really me because she had them cookies and drank that milk every year. Do you know, what? I used to. I literally remember waiting for you to fall asleep, coming downstairs and doing that, so that you think like Santa's been. And I loved. You know, it's such a slow realization as well that Santa. It's a fucking weird thing. I feel like I was always smart. Literally from, <laughs> from when I was born, I was just smart and I always knew that it was bullshit. I've always been trying to brainwash myself and like, into like <laughs> believing fantasies that Santa Claus exists. But you know what? Santa Claus does exist. Old men that give you gifts. I died. That killed me. Old men that give gifts, they do exist. <laughs> okay, so Manny, what like this year for Christmas, we've got a bit of a busy one, haven't we? We've got a lot of like fam- extended family, my mum's friends. The thing is, you know what? It's really difficult. Like growing up in the UK, but my parents coming from Iran, we don't have like a lot of family. We don't have any family here. It's no. always just been me, Mandy, my mum and dad. We have the family we created. And all our aunties, yeah, which we've got like 12 aunties from my mum and dad's side. And all our uncles, we've got like probably like 12 uncles. So much family. Grandparents, cousins, everyone's in Iran. Literally. Like they were all in Iran. And to be honest, I don't think they even know what Christmas is. As well, I was just about to say, they don't even know know what Christmas Christmas is. is. But like, we always grew up quite like a small... They know what Christmas is, but you know what I mean. Yeah. They don't celebrate that. They don't celebrate it. But um, we always grew up just like a very small, quiet Christmas, which was nice. No, we didn't. We always had like... A cousin. People that we called aunties and uncles So basically, are, yeah are, are like, you know There are our aunties and uncles In a way more than our other aunties and uncles Because we grew up with them Exactly So like my mum's friends That we grew up with We call them aunties But to be honest We call any elder person Older person Auntie in, your, in, your, when, in no, our culture No, but it's different Because these certain women Who are like my mum's best friends That we grew up with We tell our partners Or we tell people like No, that's my auntie Yeah, yeah, basically So it's weird. So we've got like our aunties that are like our fake aunties. And even when we talk about our cousin, like we on the podcast, it's actually not our real cousin. Yeah. We call her cousin because we grew up together. And, and we're our, best friends. And we're best friends. And our parents are best friends that are like, they're almost like sisters. Because that's what we have to, we have to do that. That's Is blood thicker than water? No, it's not. Definitely not. Because my cousin that like I call my cousin now is closer to me than my real cousins in Iran because obviously I don't get to spend time with them. Yeah. You know, I mean, either way, I think she would have been closer to us than anyone, even if we spent time with our real cousins. Yeah, true. Because, because we, we just, just connect up. and we, we, we have the same connect. experiences. We became friends. Yeah. Friendship is so important. Like yeah. me and you are so close, not because we're sisters, Anna. No. 
Because we're friends. Yeah, 100%. Because our siblings, that are they're not close. Exactly. Um, but it's weird because it's always been a bit sad as well, not having so much family here. Like real family. Yeah, I know. Like yeah. when I see like how it goes to his grandparents for Easter or like he, Christmas, he's going to have like his family around him. Like such a big family. I get sad sometimes because I'm like, I don't have that here. I get really sad as well. Last week I went to Ginger Beer's house. He had all his real family around, like massive amount like of people. And I just got so upset. I, I could never do that. Like, I yeah. don't have family here. No, not at all. But, but anyway, do you prefer like a busier Christmas or like a quiet internet? I don't Christmas? know yet because like I, on Christmas Day, you know how I am. Like you said, I, I'm chasing perfection. I chase perfection with everything as well. Like mentally, like my day has to be perfect. Like mm-hmm. Ginger's birthday tomorrow has to be perfect. Christmas Day has to be perfect. Like, and I imagine it a certain way and has to go exactly that way. But it doesn't when you've got so many people there. It doesn't. Like, I want to wake up in my presence and then watch movies all day, you know? Yeah, but, like, when you've got so much family there, you have to, like, small talk with them and do what yeah, they want to so do. Yeah, so we want to have, like, our extended family there. No, they're not even extended family. Our fake family. Our mum's friends, which are our aunties and stuff like that. That's what who we're going to have. The thing is, we... I don't s- like the idea that we say fake family. <laughs> not our blood-related family. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Fake family like, sounds fake bad. Family. Like, fake family sounds really bad. But, fake but you know what I mean. But you know how you say, like, we say we wish we had, like, loads of real family around us, right? Yeah. But the thing is, people that have loads of real family around them, some of them most, like, get really annoyed as well. They do. Like, when they have, like, big... Like events like Christmas, they're like, for fuck's sake, I have to be around all my family now, like my annoying aunties yeah. and uncles. Isn't that like what Christmas becomes for adults? Misery. Yeah. <laughs> Socializing yeah. with strange extended family members and, you know, like doing things like playing games with the kids that you don't want to play games with. And like, that's adult Christmas. Mm. Spending shit loads of money and going broke. Yeah. <laughs> and trying to re- recuperate after. Isn't that adult Christmas? Yeah. Just dying in the kitchen. Yeah, but I love Christmas. I know. But I, really I Christmas love Christmas ain't nothing like Christmas when... I, I, it gets me so emotional. I love Christmas so much. I me could too. It's my favourite time of the year. Yeah. I could cry. I could become Christian. That's how much I love Christmas. I don't think it's got anything to do with Christianity. I know. I know. Christmas has got everything to do with Christianity. <laughs> She's, I died. I died. That's she it? said Christmas has got nothing to do with Christianity. It's got everything to, Christianity, to do with Christianity. It's a Christian celebration. Is it? It's Jesus' birthday, Anna. That's Christmas. Wow. We're really having a... Was it Jesus' birthday? Yes, Anna. It's his birthday. He was born on Christmas. Wow. <laughs> this is gonna this is a legendary episode. This and I is. and I said I'm I smart. Said, <laughs> yeah, she's like, I was always smart. I didn't know. But I just think it's a traditional thing. You know? Yeah, I mean, it, a lot of people celebrate Christmas who aren't a Christian. Like a lot of people. Obviously. But it is a Christian Christian celebration. All oh, right. But it's become a cultural thing as well. And it's become a for me, capitalist it's a, thing. It's for me, it's a cultural like cultural and traditional thing. Like, I don't know. I never obviously I'm not Christian, but yeah. I celebrate Christmas. But religion also shapes culture in many ways. Yeah. So I think for us, because we always grew up in an Iranian family celebrating Christmas, we never fully understand the ins and outs of what it means. But some people for them, they really celebrate it in a very religious way. Yeah, they go to church and yeah. stuff, right? Well, fair enough. But for us, it's not like for that. us, it's one of the gifts, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bring me the bag, yo. No, but the whole vibe, like I just love Christmas. The vibe, like the red and the like coziness. There's something and, about it, though. The lights, like I literally, when I was in London, like Christmas shopping, I was looking around and the lights and the music on, and I just got so emotional. Yeah. London has outdone itself this year with the Christmas decorations in yeah, the city. I'm like, not gonna it makes lie. Me so emotional. I don't know why. It's just a happy time. I feel like something in the air during Christmas and it's like the closest thing to magic. That's how it feels. Right. The yeah. feeling that you get. Yeah. It's almost like hypnotic. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you know how you say, oh, there's a dark cloud following that person. It's like during Christmas, it's like a happy cloud. beautiful, like happy blue sky following everyone. Even though the weather is so bad because it's Christmas, it's just like inevitably such a happy time. Yeah, but you know what? There are people, I just want to say this because it's true. There are people that are going through some horrible stuff like during Christmas time. I know. And for them, like, I just think, you know, be strong because some people are like, either they're alone or like they're going through something with their family, health conditions, like whatever it may be, like look what's going on in Gaza. I mean, they don't celebrate Christmas, but it's Still. affecting a lot. Still. Yes, yeah, affecting us, affects everyone, oh, like God. watching it. So like, I just want to say like, 
our thoughts are still with everyone during Christmas that's going through any type of hard time. Yeah. Because it must feel so... It must be even worse for them because it's like everyone's so happy around them. And like horrible. And they're so sad. I think try your best, if you are going through a hard time during Christmas, try your best to still like find some happiness and find some gratitude if you can. Yeah. Um. Obviously, that's impossible if you're going through like what people are going through in Palestine. But... um. Other things like loneliness, like try and make the most of your own company. Like that influencer that I spoke about before, she was dancing around her living room in Christmas pajamas on her own watching movies. Like, yeah. I was like, wow, it's so amazing that she's not dwelling on being alone. Yeah, She's making the most of it. But it's true. I mean, Christmas isn't amazing for everyone. Yeah. You have it's to good like to just touch on that because I think it must be hard for some some people when they look around and like, jolly, jolly, jolly. Yeah. And then they're like, oh my God. Isn't I'm it doing... the hardest time as well to see like homeless people in London? It's like the hardest time for me. Yeah. Not only is it freezing, but like people are like getting all these gifts and they don't even have food to eat. Yeah, I know. But anyway, I mean, yeah, it's horrible. It's the most wonderful time of the year, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Maddie, what like what are you expecting? Like, the thing is, I was gonna say, what are you expecting Gingerbread to get you for Christmas? But do you already know? Because I already know what Cowslick got me for Christmas. I do you? We bought it together. Oh, okay. Well, do I know what you got you? Are you going to even share that on the podcast? You don't no, want, I, don't no, you wanna, don't want, I don't want people to know what he got me, but it was, was amazing. Really? Yeah. So I, I don't, oh, yeah, I think I do know. I think like, I he do got know. me some amazing gifts. Like, he went all out. He's good. Been, recently, he's been going all yes. out on me anyway. Like, he's been such a good fucking boyfriend, I must say. It's amazing. It's like when ginger beer becomes bad, it's like cows that becomes good, and when the cows that becomes bad, ginger beer becomes, <laughs> it's like they're like good. Yeah, why is it like that? No, no, it's a good balance. <laughs> it's like, why is it like I feel like, like when that? I'm good, I'm just like keeping you in the relationship by giving you hope, and then when it's the other way around. I think maybe when, when, when cows that's bad and ginger beer's really, really good, I'm like, look at ginger beer, he's being so good. So then cows that gets good, and then ginger beer gets yeah. bad. And but to be fair, like, I've, ginger beer is good right now. I just slate him way too much. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I feel bad on him. He's so sweet. So you don't know what he's got you? I mean, I don't know about everything he's got me, but obviously that argument I started in Selfridges, like, how dare you spoil yourself in Dior? Yeah. And he ended up being like, you selfish, spoiled brat. I got you this, 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 this. And he told me, like, a few things, and I'm, like, trying to, like, forget. So You're it's a surprise. trying to forget. And, and, then he, and then we went obsessed with Louis Vuitton. I have to say this. We went obsessed with Louis Vuitton, right? And I smell a perfume. It was the most amazing perfume I've ever smelled in my really? life, yeah? And I was like, I want this perfume. I want it, please, please. And it was £500. What? I know. It's mad these days. He Everything got so me expensive. the £500 perfume. I took it home. You got a £500 perfume? You're living a good life, in it? No, not even. I don't even know. Sometimes <laughs> I think, Mandy, like, you could do with that money instead of the perfume. <laughs> I'm so materialistic. <laughs> anyway, I took the perfume home and I, and I wrapped it in Christmas wrapping paper myself and put tape on it and then put a little Christmas tag on it and wrote, To Mandy, love from Stab, Merry Christmas. No, you did not. And then I stared at it every day. You're and joking. Then, no, no, no. This is how much a sociopath I am. Then I stared at it every day. And I was like, I really want to use it. And then like, I unwrapped it. No. <laughs> such a weirdo <laughs> I unwrapped it the thing is like I know everything that Kalsik got me and he knows everything I've got him because I was like you know what I'm so sick of this bullshit if we're going to spend loads of money which we have on each other then like I'd rather it goes on something that I fucking like and then I'd rather get him something that I know he's going to like Yeah. usually in the past like I've just I knew what to get him but this year I just wanted to get him something that I know that he really needs or wants or likes it's not unusual that you're doing that though yeah because like Gingerbread's family is doing that with each other yeah so it's, it's not like unusual because like his sister's like tell me what you want because I'm not going to buy you anything on Christmas unless you tell me what you want and they say that to each other really but then like but what then, about wrapping it and stuff like it's like it should be like you kind of give off a hint of like I want maybe one of these things and then you don't know exactly what they're getting you. Okay. Because... No, we went to the shops together. Like, he literally put on it, put it on in front of me and I went to the till in front yeah, of him. That killed know. it. It kills it. Because it should feel... be like, you know, when I asked you at the beginning of the month, Anna, what do you going to need? And you gave me like an, a list of like five, six things that you need. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, from that, I kind of got an idea. And then you don't exactly know what I got you. It should yeah. be like that. Yeah. Christmas, it shouldn't be about getting something you need though. This is what I mean. It should be about... Like, it should be about thoughtfulness and like... Whatever the gift is, whether you need it or not, is just a gift. I get what you mean, yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but when it's just so much money, like, because I know that he was going to spend a lot of money on me and I'm going to spend a lot of money on it. 
when it's so much money, it kind of like, it hurts if it's not something that you really want. It shouldn't be like that though. It should be like, even if it's, like, even if I got a gift tomorrow and it was something amazing, but I don't, didn't need it. Like, let's say, for example, a Louis Vuitton coat. Yeah? yeah. That's so expensive, right? And like, I definitely could use that money by getting like free bags to like, or going on holiday. Or like, I don't need a Louis Vuitton coat. It's like, I don't have any designer clothes or shoes. But if someone gifts that to me, for example, I should just be like, oh my God, it's a gift. Yeah. I didn't pay for it with my own money. Thank you, you so much. I get what you mean. Do you know what I I'm trying to like say? I feel like this year, we kind of messed it up with that. Like, kind of just know too much about like, we were too involved in the gifting process. Yeah. Each other. And I don't think it should uh, be like next that next year. year. I don't want it to be like that. And no matter what you need, that shouldn't get in the way of like being grateful for like this thing that you didn't need, but you got which is so nice. Yeah, it's true. But last year, his present that he got me, I already had. No and way. it was like expensive. So I was like, this oh, yeah, I remember, you already had it. I was like, what the hell? So, you know. But what do I expect? I mean, I don't expect anything more than like the maximum of what he can afford. <laughs> yeah, same. For me, it's like, if you can't afford to get me something huge, then I wouldn't expect it. Yeah. But if you can and like you're doing well, then I expect like a nice present. Yeah. Expensive. Like a, like yeah. a designer bag. Yeah. Well... I mean, I put up with a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I put up with a lot with your work and stuff. So I, I deserve some rewards. Yeah. I think it's got to do with, first of all, how much, obviously, like, your man or girlfriend can afford. Yeah. And second of all, if you're not getting anything throughout the year, like, your partner could really put, like, a little bit of money aside throughout the year and save up for special occasions, like, birthday, Christmas, and that's it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, there isn't yeah. really anything else. Yeah. yeah, I get what you mean. Like, I don't really get a present all year apart from Christmas or my birthday I get um, or Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day yeah but I don't even expect a gift on Valentine's Day but I mean I was walking around selfish I was like you know what I want you to start getting used to buying me stuff on a random I want you to just come like baby I love you here you go yeah surprise <laughs> gifts is the yeah. best that's when you're dealing with some like, like real bullshit Bowlers. Um, but yeah no do you know what it's not Christmas is honestly not about the price of the gift, though. That is true. Yeah. Like, be real. Let's be real. It's not. Because no, 100% it's not. Especially if, like, people are going through hard times or, like, they can't afford it. Then, like, I don't think you should ever put that kind of pressure on your I haven't half. got gingerbread anything for Christmas. Yeah, you shouldn't be putting... Anna, can you believe that? We'll sort that out. How? I can't. I've spent so much on his 30th birthday. Like, I never thought him turning 30 would be so devastating to my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm yeah, excited I am for the excited party. Too. But yeah. Anyway, Don't, I want to hear some Christmas dilemmas. Yeah, should we, well, should we do some? Right, so I thought I'd start off with my Christmas dilemma. My Christmas dilemma is that I have a cat that's destroyed my Christmas tree. <laughs> oh my God, I sent you a meme yesterday. <laughs> Why, what's going on? Lucky. But to be honest, I'll tell you something. I kind of solved my own dilemma. Did you see the meme I sent you yesterday? Mm. It was about cats destroying the Christmas tree. Anyway, yeah. So when I first put up the Christmas tree, I was like, you know what? I really wanted to buy an, an artificial tree this year, like a really banging one that I can keep for every year. But then I was like, you know what? There's no point. There's no point spending hundreds on a Christmas tree when I just know Lucky's going to destroy it. So I went and got a real one. And I was right. He was straight away in the tree. Especially Lucky. He grew up in a bush. Like He's a bush cat. He's a bush cat. Um, he must have yeah, missed that he keeps kind of tree. throwing and smashing the ornaments, expensive ones as well. No. And like grabbing Santa off the tree and like, you, you know. need to get plastic ornaments. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I give up. But no, I did do something. I was like, I need to do something. I need to do something. So I went on Amazon and I searched cat toy and I got this thing. I think I sent you a video of it. Yeah. It's on the kitchen floor and it bounces around like that. I'm not joking, yeah. That kept Lucky busy for hours yesterday. No. It kept, I actually started feeling sorry for him because he got so exhausted from that thing. <laughs> He was like panting like a dog. Like panting like a dog. And he was like, he was so frustrated by this thing that was flying around. What is around. this he torturous to... thing? He's he's playing with it, but at the same time, he's like, he wants to grab it. And he can't. And he does, but like he won't, as soon as he lets go, it goes bounces on the other side. It's like some weird thing. Anyway, I think I've managed to sort my own dilemma out, but like he is obsessed with that toy now. Really? So he's kind of left the Christmas tree a bit. I mean, so I did your wake Christmas up tree looking half alive. Better. So, but I woke up this morning. There was one smashed ornament. Oh my god! <laughs> but it's much better, much better. So you definitely need to buy from now on. Your life is going to be plastic ornaments. What is this? Got, am I going to have to go through this all the time? I, this is what I'm saying to you. I've sent you so many things on Instagram. Like it's a norm. Yeah, cats destroying trees. Like, well, even destroying, when he's older, destroying trees. Yeah. So I'm never going to be able to have a I nice don't know Christmas tree. What's going tree. on with my algorithm? Like everything's coming up. Like cats and trees. Me too. Me too. Cats. So, yeah, because like cats love trees and especially like Lucky who's grew up so wild so basically I'm going to have to go through this for the rest of my life yeah. you're going to have to buy wow so I'm never going to be able to have a banging tree you're going to have a cat proof tree I want a refund <laughs> you see that video <laughs> that guy 
I want a refund. <laughs> what? I on, on, on the cat. <laughs> I want a refund. I'm, I'm just glad that like, I bought Lucky here as well, but like he's not my... I love him. I'm like the auntie. I get all the pros. But you don't get the... But the I don't pros. have to deal with this shit. Uh, yeah, but he's so... I love yeah. him so much. I miss him. When I'm not around him, I miss him so much. Would you believe I even miss him? It's yeah, mad. I miss him so much. And like Kalzik loves him so much as well. Like he's, it's mad. He's so cute. He's special. All right, so let's go to a Christmas dilemma from someone. Ooh. Okay, my girlfriend's parents... So this is a boy sending in... My, I can't believe we have boy listeners. We have guys that listen. It's crazy. I love it. Yeah. Wait, okay. I'm getting like tried it on so much here yeah, by like guys. Are you? On my DMs. And they're all like, you're so funny. <laughs> and I was like, that's people that love me for my personality. Like, they might love me more than Gingerbread loves me. Because <laughs> Gingerbread doesn't find me funny. Anyway, go on with the <laughs> Okay, my girlfriend's parents are separated and she's going to go and see them both on Christmas Day at separate times and wants me to come. But I also have to see my family on Christmas. I can't do three places in one day. What shall I do? Yeah, that's some musical chairs shit. Like, that's long, man. Yeah. Christmas Day, three places. Because obviously your family, like, you have to see your family, right? I always wonder, like, how does it work when you get married, yeah? Like, your husband would want to see their family and you want to see your family. Like, how does it work? Okay, so you that's... either do it at, like, your families, or you do it at your partner's families. So you every year and alternate, or you host it yourself and invite both. But how, if you're going to his family, like let's say I was going to Kazakh's family, like leave mum alone on Christmas Day? Well, I could never do that. That's why well, mum used to always say when we were younger, go and be with an Iranian boy. Mm. Because if we don't know what Christmas is, so you can no. just leave him alone. <laughs> No, because if we had an Iranian boyfriend, let's say, and their family's Iranian, our parents, like my our partner's parent, parents with our parents, yeah. would connect so well. Yeah, not necessarily like, our dad has beef with like everyone who's Iranian. Yeah, true. Not our dad, but like our mom. Like they would connect to a point where like they're going to spend time with each other yeah. naturally. Whereas like I know now it's going to happen. Like I've, they've already spoken like Cal's next mom and my mom. And like, I'm sure it would be really nice and smooth and it will, it will go well, but I'm sure they're never going to be able to connect to that point yeah. where like... Because they don't speak the same language. Like yeah. their, my mom's first language is Iranian. Her culture exactly. is Iranian. Her Everything is Iranian. But I ain't choosing my life partner based on my mom's connection. Yeah, I know. Like, it's my connection, man. Yeah, it's true. Fuck that, bro. Don't yeah. have that connection of two families. Like, to be yeah. honest, sometimes it's better to keep them a little bit separate. Really? Because I'm telling you right now, them families that be two up on each other's asses, yeah, always, that's where this problem starts. Like, didn't I tell you, Anna, me and you going out with two best friends, like, it's going to be amazing, but it's going to cause a lot more, like, problems. Yeah. Yeah. And it has. And yeah. it probably will in the future. He said, she said, this, said, that, it's gonna opinions. Cause, it's going to cause, so, it has caused so many arguments and it will cause so many more. Now, imagine like your family, okay, is Iranian. Your boyfriend and his family is Iranian and you're always together and you're seeing each other all the time. It just takes one day of like meeting up for dinner and drinks for a beef to kick off. And that causes a beef between you and your man yeah. Like, your uncle said this to my dad. Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's just all... Because obviously I went round, I went to Kyle's Lick's uh, brother and sister-in-law's house and I saw that his sister-in-law's mum was there and also his, their mum was there. Yeah. And like, they were, they're able to have like a... Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because they're, they're both English is their first language and they can have a connection. Like, I wish I could have that for mum. Yeah. Like, but mum's not going to have that with our partners. I think it would be nice if like, they can see each other on like, occasions and have a nice relationship but not like too... I don't even know if they're going to be able to have like a proper relationship. Do you think they can? Because mum's first language is Iranian and like, it's really difficult. Like if I speak to mum, I speak to her in Iranian. I don't speak to her in English. I don't know. I know what you're saying, but... Hopefully, I don't know. We'll see. But look, for example, Gingerbeard's like, dad, his first language is Greek. And like, he's more Greek, but his mum was like born here and she's yeah, more well, English. His English is really good. Yeah, his English is really good, so, but it's not different. his first like mother tongue, is what I mean. Yeah. So, what but then again, she speaks like fluent Greek. So, what would you do then? Like you would, uh, you said like, well, you'd go to your partner's one year and your mum's the other year. I can't, I can't do that. No, I wouldn't do that as, as well. I'm so, not what would lie. you do in the future? Like, let's say you and Ginger get married. Okay, I'm saying if you got kids, then you host it. Obviously, no. I don't even know, man. So complicated, no? Yeah, it's really complicated. I'm not going to lie. It's really complicated. I did say, like, to Gingerbeard, the, like, as of now, like, I want to be with my mum and I want to be with my family and you be with yours. And the reason for that, I said, is because, like, 
if we are meant to be and we're meant to be together forever, we've got our whole life to have Christmas together. We've got literally our whole life to but be together on Christmas. if you were to get married, then what? I'm still going to be with my family. You go be with yours. Because... But then you are family as well. It doesn't two. matter, but my mum's not always going to be here. Your mum and dad aren't always going to be here. Like, we're, we're the same age. We've got our whole life. We've got fucking yeah. 50 years. 100%. You know what I mean? Like, I would never leave Whereas, mom like, alone. You don't know how long your mum or your nan and your grandparents or whatever have. Yeah. They're older. Yeah. Depends on, like, as well, the age of your parents. You've got a really, really young mum and dad, but we don't. Yeah. I want to cherish the Christmas Moments. times I've got with them. I agree. And yeah. obviously, when I've got kids... And then it's a different story. Then you're going to have to think about it. You're yeah. going to have to end up hosting anyway when you're yeah. older because when you've got kids, most likely your parents and your partner's parents are going to be too old to host. Yeah, I think the perfect situation would be if you could take your mum to one of their houses as well. Like if you've got a small family, if you could take them as well with you, that would be perfect. But like, if not, then you just need to kind of like see what's important. And obviously, yeah, I, think... I don't think there's anything wrong with even a husband and wife like the wife having dinner with her mum and dad and her siblings and the husband going having dinner with his mum and dad and his siblings. But do you think that's... I've never heard or seen that. Like, husband and wife stick together with their kids. I know, but if they, if they don't have kids, I mean. If they okay. don't have kids. But like... If you have kids... Then it gets a bit complicated. It gets very complicated. It gets complicated. Especially, like, people that have, like, parents separated... Like, this situation, where, like, they have parents that are separated, then they've also got their partner's parents. Then it's, like... So many different places. But what if, like, for example, you were married, yeah, you had kids, and you said to me, Mandy, this year I'm going to be with Kowzik's family, you be with mum. Next year you go with Gingerbread's family, I'll be with mum. Yeah, but I'd want to be with you. I know. How dare That's exactly you? what you I want to be with me. Yeah, I do. I'd rather be with you and mum than, like, it's all a bit of a head fuck. I don't know why we even think about this. We ain't having no kids. <laughs> my head's hurting. Bro. My, I actually think I've got I'm a headache. I'm sweating, I've got man. a headache from that. Because like, yeah. it's actually... Is there Christmas rules? Because this conversation just got way out of context Yeah, what now. is the rule? Like, like, what is the Christmas rule? Like, when you're married with kids and then you've got your parents and then you've got their parents and let's say parents are separated that's like that's four households how does it work please yeah that's a lot of petrol man on Christmas day as well yeah you're gonna be spending most of your time you might as well just have the turkey in the car <laughs> at, that, in, <laughs> at that rate <laughs> literally <laughs> fuck this topic alright next one okay my boyfriend is so anti-Christmas and negative it's about, negative neg negative about it I love Christmas so much it's been killing my mood a lot Oh my god, he's a Grinch. He's me. He's a Grinch. <laughs> oh my god. I listen, you did it so I'm, well. I'm so again. obsessed do with again. the Grinch, do yeah. Again. Do again. I don't remember what it is. <laughs> four o'clock. Wallow and self pity. It was a four party. Self low. I, I don't know exactly how it is, but it's hilarious. <laughs> so he's like, what is he like? Five o'clock? Dinner with me. I can't cancel that this time. <laughs> I, I love the Grinch. So good. He's me, him. yeah. Like You're he not is the me. Grinch hates Christmas, hates people. No, yeah, I hate people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm having a problem though, yeah, Anna. Like, you know, like our listeners, I feel like when they see me in real life, they expect me to be like a more of like, I don't know what it is. I'm just not though. But you are. You are you, but you they can't you can't be lively 24 hours of the day. Yeah. At the end of the day. And obviously, it's, it's like... We're in the middle of a chat. Like, we're in the middle of a, like, funny chat, discussion. But if we're walking to get a coffee and it's like a normal, grainy day, yeah. you're not going to be like, <laughs> oh my God, yeah. I'm just like, I'm scared that I'm just not the same. I try really hard. Don't try. It's don't be cringe. Yeah, I'm giving myself cringe. So yeah, what should this girl do about her anti-Christmas Grinch boyfriend? Why is he anti-Christmas? He must be broke. <laughs> No, maybe he just leave, leave him. I don't know. Some people are like a bit weird about Christmas, isn't it? Aren't they? Why is he like that though? What's what is it? What is it about Christmas? What is his reasoning? If it's got anything to do with like it's a capitalist system, blah, 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 blah. he's right, but he's also broke. I think just avoid him if he's killing avoid your him. if he's killing your mood and like you know being negative about it. Just try and avoid him at all costs during this this month festive period. Yeah, go on a mini you break. Can't be you can't be, be a ho ho ho. <laughs> Yeah, you can't be having that, like oh. draining your fucking positive energy. I thought it's like there's magic in the end. He's just walking around with like you know, yeah. His just be like take your Grinch energy away from me. Yeah, like keep it to yourself. If you want to be negative, you be negative. Tell him. I'm enjoying this month. Don't. If you love someone, you want them to be happy. Yeah. If I'm happy during Christmas, why do you not want that for me? Like just because you don't like it doesn't mean you have to make me not like it. Yeah. Tell yeah. him to take his negative energy and stay with his negative family on Christmas Day and just leave you alone. Yeah. 
All right. Well, next one I've got is I slept with my mother in law after the Christmas party. What? What? <laughs> what? Like, what? What? He fucked his mother in law. It's just some real life. What e- the fuck? That is some real life EastEnders. Just met it all. That is some real life EastEnders shit. Oi, that. It's some EastEnders Christmas. Man, Christmas EastEnders is always the best, man. Yeah, yeah always some shit happening. So fucking know, someone mum and all some shit. I miss watching EastEnders. I might just watch it just for Christmas Day. Yeah. <laughs> That's some real life EastEnders. I'll shit. never forget when, like, you know, they found out that Stacey, Stacey was Max. fucking Max. Man, that was some, that was some madness and Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, running, no. it's a running brawl. Anyway. I slept with my mother-in-law after a Christmas party. You have just ruined Christmas for yourself and everyone for every year, forever. Forever. Like, you're never going to be able to have a normal Christmas after that. What a mo- what kind of mother is that? You know Isn't what I mean? It? That's nasty. What's some nasty ass mother, man? That, you know when I hear shit like that about mums, that yeah. freaks me out because it's not usually like I think in a woman's, especially a mother's nature, she should be annihilated. Yeah, like it's not a woman, a mother. Your a mother is like the most purest love to their child. Yeah, imagine how much like trauma she must feel after that. Like how much neglect. Mm, mm. You know, that's yeah. abuse. Well, I, I don't she know gets if I can help you. I hope they fucking both of them just fuck off. I don't know. I can't help you, my friend, because I don't like you. Lock off your mom. Fuck her off. When she's it's in not, a fucking nursing home. Man, it's not her that sent us the dilemma. He sent us the dilemma. He said, I've slept with my mother-in-law on, after the Christmas party. No. That's I hate said, this person. I don't think I could help you. Don't listen to our podcast anymore. <laughs> Go here. You are a motherfucker. That's exactly <laughs> what you are. You're a motherfucker. <laughs> right, next one. Hey, girls. I love the podcast. Christmas dilemma is my twin sister has said something unforgivable to me. Genuinely unforgivable. So I can't ignore it. However, my family and mum and sisters are all spending Christmas together and I would usually be there. I can't be around my sister. So now I'm facing spending Christmas alone. Any advice? Sweetheart, I love you. I don't even know you, but I love you. But I want to say something to you. I do believe that some things are unforgivable, but things that are actually done... And, and actually physically done to you. But I don't think Anna could ever say anything to me that's unforgivable. Yeah. Because no matter what you say, even if it's something the most vile thing, you must, it must come from a very dark place inside you. And it must come from like, you must be struggling with something really bad inside to, to say something like that to hurt me. So I don't think that would like, Trump the love I have for you, basically. Wow. And I would be able to forgive Christmas. Yeah, but we have no idea what she said. Maybe she said, like, I want to fuck your husband. Yeah, but if it's said, it's like, I was said out of, like, eat, like, mean. It's a bit weird, though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, fuck knows. Maybe she said something like, let's say you told me your deepest, deepest secret, like, and I went and told Gingerbeard. Yeah, that's different. That's different. That's betrayal. Yeah. Well, I don't know. She's done something, innit? And she's genuinely saying it's unforgivable. To be honest, And now yeah. she's like, can't be around her family. She can't be around her sister on Christmas. She's going to be on her own. I think it's something that you can only individually assess. Obviously, if your gut is telling you that it's unforgivable, then your gut is telling you that, stick with it. But if you do think that maybe it is something that could deserve some forgiveness, then there's no better time than Christmas and a New Year to do that. I feel like though, why is it you not going? Why is it she not? Why can't she not come? Like, why is it you taking the L? Yeah, why are you being exiled? Why, do you know what I mean? It's not fair on you that you have to spend Christmas alone. Maybe you should just try and see if you can be with your mum and sister at like at least half of the day. Yeah, but don't let it kick off on Christmas Day because that's just... No, I think maybe you should speak to your sister and be like, look, this has happened. I don't forgive you. I don't want to be around you. You do one half of the day. I do one half of the day. And speak to your mum and sisters. Half, half days. Yeah. What well, is this a fucking double shift? Well, it ha- uh, it's not fair though. Like you'd have br- Christmas lunch or breakfast. Well, then with your you parents. have to make it fair. She's got, she's got to hear something from you now. Unforgivable. Think of the worst thing that you could ever say to your twin sister <laughs> and say it. And then the tables might just turn. She might be like, I'm not doing Christmas. And then you've got your whole family to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> or you could do that. <laughs> okay, let's This is go- toxic. You need to see counselling. <laughs> Siblings shouldn't fall out like this. No. It's sad when it happens. It's sad. It upsets me. Yeah. You right. better watch your mouth, bitch. You better watch your mouth with me, yeah? <laughs> I don't think we've ever done that, though. No. Let's go to the next dilemma because we don't have much time. We're definitely not going to get to the worst and best gifts. You know what's so mad? I just suddenly thought, like, you know, I used to say that me and Gingerbread used to have really, really toxic arguments. He used to say the most vile things to me. I used to say the most vile things to him. Funny how... I, I forgive him. Yeah. But imagine it was me and you doing that. 
I know. Well, we always say that. People are so quick to forgive their partners, but they're not the same with their friends or family. family. All right, and I know I'm like making it us like go over time, so Anna. I know because I'm sad we're not going to be able to go to the best and worst gifts that you get people sent in for Christmas. Oh no, go on. Do we not have time? I'm not, we're not really, not much. So anyway, I've got... Hey girls, I recently reverted to Islam. Do you think I can still see my family on Christmas Day? That's yes. an easy one. Yes, absolutely. We spoke about this earlier. Like, I don't think Christmas... I mean, to me, it's not got anything to do with religion. And I know... Anna doesn't even know it had anything to do with religion. Yeah, there's so many Muslims, <laughs> Hindus, Sikhs, like every religion that, ce- that celebrates Christmas. So, yes, you yes. can. You can. Okay, I miss my ex. I still think about him all the time and what we could have been doing this Christmas time together. But now I'm all alone. Fuck that, Last man. Last Christmas, I, I gave, gave you my heart. That was in the past. You know, how many Christmases ago did this happen? You need to move on. Yeah. It, it, let it go. <laughs> You're going to find mean? someone better next Christmas, maybe. Why you never you know? I'm on Christmas. At least think about my Valentine's Day. Christmas is about family. Yeah, not fucking men. Yeah. <laughs> it's about Fuck family. <laughs> it's the only time of the year. Fuck love on Christmas. It's about, it's about food family. and family. Double F. F and F. F yeah. and F. Family and food. 100%. Yeah. Right, and next And friends. One. Another one, yeah. a, religion, a religious one, yeah? What's all this I'm, religious stuff, man? I don't know, but it says, I'm Muslim. I love the Christmas vibe, but my parents don't let me celebrate. You have to undercover, man. Get a mini tree in your room, man. Yeah, a little mini one. <laughs> I've seen some, DIY, I've seen some DIY hacks here. I've had to like, you know, pin a Christmas tree onto your wall and like, hide it. Yeah. What? People that don't have space in their house. Oh, that's some madness. Um, I think, look, don't let it get to you too much because like there will be a time when you move out and you live on your own. And then at that point, you can do what you want. You can celebrate Christmas as much as you yeah. want. And you can still celebrate it just because you don't have a tree or whatever. You can still celebrate it around people that, you know, want to celebrate with you. Maybe your friends, have a little Christmas dinner with your friends yeah. in a restaurant, blah, blah. Oh, listen, on Christmas Day, get your Christmas PJs on, watch movies, get the hat, you know, do all that stuff. And Apart from Christmas Day, the whole of the UK mm-hmm. right now is in the in like Christmas mode, Christmas vibe, Christmas spirit. Go out to Covent Garden with your mates, have a hot chocolate, walk around. Yeah. I mean, yeah. everyone's celebrating Christmas right now. Yeah. So you do, I don't think you should let it yeah. upset you. Okay, next one. I found my boyfriend of three years was cheating on me a couple of days ago by trying to see what he bought me for Christmas. He had said he'd seen a TikTok of what to get me and he was hyping it up so much, I decided to check it out myself. I logged into his TikTok and seen messages between him and a girl and I found out he met up with her once and kissed her. What do you guys think? By the way, I love you and Mandy so much. OG fan. Are people creeping on TikTok now? First it was Snapchat. Then it's Instagram. Now they're creeping on TikTok. <laughs> I'm Mandy, I think a lot. I think it's all going down on TikTok now. Oh my God. I did see one of Gingerbread's friends. Are you okay with a cup on your head? He was like following okay. like bare naked girls on TikTok and it was like freaking me out. Like, grow up. I know, it's so strange, it's right? so strange. Like... Um, um, anyway, this um, girl, I feel sorry for her. She yeah. wanted to see what she got for Christmas, and then she got she, she got something. She, fuck that, man! She got a real yeah, fucking yeah. Christmas yeah. shock. That was a bad gift. That was that a, you, very a bad, bad, bad gift. gift. I mean, you know what they say: don't go digging if you don't want to find any dead bodies. You know what I'm saying? Well, she thought she was gonna find gifts, not dead bodies. My man wasn't even out there looking on Selfridges. He was, he was on TikTok. He was selling you out, bro. Yeah. He was selling you out. Do you know what I saw on TikTok the other day? This girl, she gave her kidney to her boyfriend and six months later, he fucked her off and went to Vegas and started fucking bare girls. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, my man took her kidney! Oh, <laughs> what? He left! Good with her kidney, man! I started fucking girls. He went on a solo stag dude to Vegas with her organ, bro! <laughs> what? You can't trust men with night! <laughs> <laughs> That's a madness. It just gets worse and worse. It just gets worse, bro. I don't give a shit. My man dying from like kidney. I ain't giving my kidney. <laughs> I don't know where that kidney gonna go. You gonna take my kidney and then you gonna put a dick in someone else's kidney? That's what you're gonna do. <laughs> I can't be dealing Man, with that. Dicks don't go in kidneys. You know what I'm saying? It goes they, deep. It goes into the vagina. It goes deep if they're packing. If they're, they're, if they're packing, packing. It goes deep in it. Hits the kidney. Yeah, it's just in rap songs and stuff. You know, like fuck up your kidneys and shit. Really? Oh, I've never oh, heard a rap song say that. I maybe. think you made that up, Mandy. I think you made that up. Oh, you yeah. definitely made that Disgusting. up. Disgusting! Um, anyway, babe, look. Do you know what? I think you got the... Let's switch this around. I think you got the best Christmas gift this Christmas, yeah? Yeah. Because you ain't about to waste any mm. more time on this guy. Mm. He, you, did yourself a favour mm-hmm. finding out 
this is a real gift because you have now got the gift of time. Yeah. Yeah. You're wasting over time. Exactly. Santa Claus delivered. 100%. Revelation. Yeah. You now know what he really is about. You can go and live your life onto better things. Yes. His loss. He's the one that's lost something this Christmas. You have gained. Yeah. See it as a gain. It's a gift. 100%. It's a gift of reality. You better fuck him off if you don't want to break up with this guy, yeah? Don't I'm, be our fan no more. Don't be our fan no more. I'm telling you right now, I ain't having no basics. I'm, because of you basics, <laughs> yeah? We have to deal with some bad shit from men. Yeah. Because of women giving up their kidneys, we getting cheated on. No, uh, she was being a good person giving her kidneys. It was a mistake! She didn't know it was going to be a mistake. She didn't know he was going to be a bad person. I'm just saying, yeah, like... We I don't need think to be, you should we change your good heart because of bad people. We need people. to be looking out for ourselves. No, oh, Mandy, I don't think that you, just because there's you're bad right, people I know, out right, there, I don't right. think you should change your good heart. Like, you're right. You should always continue and strive to be a good person in this 100%, world. 100%, you're right. But and trust. I do think that women, a lot, like, you're right about the kidney. You're right about the kidney girl, yeah. But a lot of women tolerating some disrespect. Like, if this girl stays with this guy, tolerating 100%. this shit is bringing a standard low for all of us. 100%, yeah. You're fucking up shit for all of us, man. Uh -huh. Then my guy's going to be like, look at this one. Like, her man cheats on her. Why can't I cheat on you? Mm hmm Exactly. Like, stop, stop, it. stop it. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Leave him now. Okay, I've got my grandma who is Asian isn't too happy about me having a white boyfriend. My parents, aunties, uncles, everyone loves him, but I'm unsure if I should have him over for Christmas dinner or just keep her happy while she's alive. <gasps> you bring his white ass over to Christmas dinner. You see him there. You be proud of your vanilla man. Yes. Yes. I Don't agree. you let Nana say shit. Yeah, because she's being racist. All racism is bad. Yeah. And like, I just don't think that you should like, I get what, I mean, it's, I get you want her to be happy while she's alive. What, a happy racist? No. No, no we, she's going to be a sad racist. Yeah. I racists agree. don't deserve to be happy. Yeah, exactly. So bring your man. And have a good be, Christmas. Yeah, be proud of who you chose, you know. It's all skin deep anyway. Colour don't mean shit. We're all human. Yeah, I agree. So she needs to change. Yeah. Hopefully she'll change before and she dies. And you know what? Yeah, hopefully she'll change before she dies. On her deathbed, maybe she'll realise yeah. that she was a cunt. You know what you should do? Make your man feel welcome. That's very important. 100%. Just make him feel protected like he's got you and you've got his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I no definitely point don't him... think leave him alert, like leave no. him or don't bring him. No, don't give in to, to racism. There's no point of your man being there if he's going to feel uncomfortable. So yeah, it's very important that everyone the energy... else loves him aunties, Aww. uncles, parents. Everyone loves him. Then Just... he's going to have a great time. Yeah, ignore the grandma. And your grandma's going to be depressed. Yeah. She's fine. Um, I've got here the last dilemma I've got is my boyfriend doesn't care about giving each other presents on Christmas. Do I insist or leave it? It's the only time of the year that presents matter. What do you do if your boyfriend's like, nah, I don't believe it's that? The, it's the only time of the year that you cannot avoid presents because they got under a motherfucking tree. <laughs> it's like birthdays, you can be like, we don't do presents. But Valentine's Day, we don't do presents. Anniversary, we don't do presents. How are you going to say we don't do presents on Christmas, bro? It's a, it's a, what going under that empty tree? It looks like legs open with nine between them. It would look <laughs> empty. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Because like, Okay, look, it depends. If he can't afford them, then I, I get it. Yeah, but this is not this is not that situation. It says he doesn't care about giving gifts. He doesn't want to give gifts, yeah? That's a different situation. Like, I don't think that's very fair, like, on you. That's not fair. Because, like, you want to, but, like, I don't know. I mean, you're not going to obviously leave someone over that. Well, I don't know if it's it was just... me. I'm leaving. You know, <laughs> I don't believe in gifts. You don't leave... I don't believe in giving you any pussy. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? I mean, I don't know. You can't leave someone over that, but it's just sucks. I don't know about you. are like, oh, what if he's like, can't afford it? Like, Anna, there's people that really struggle. Yeah, but all year, they give like something, even something small, like a pair of pajamas from yeah. Primark. Like, just to put something under I the tree. I know what you mean. Yeah, like, okay, but... Look, my point is, is that you're not going to leave someone over that. <laughs> Bye. No, you're not gonna leave someone over the fact that they don't want, they don't really care about giving gifts on Christmas. You're not gonna leave. But I think like every relationship's got its disadvantages. What's advantages. next though? I don't believe in marriage. I don't believe in rings. I don't believe in celebrating a wedding. I don't believe in child Look, support. Some people are dealing with cheating boyfriends. She's dealing with no gifts on Christmas. So like, you pick a struggle. Do you know what I mean? But I, do you know what it is? These days, even the ones that can't give gifts be cheating. Yeah. So I at least get with someone that can give gifts and cheat. <laughs> And this you know what? Some struggles are worse than others. <laughs> like, yeah. as, in, as in like... I'd rather I mean, cry in Versace. 
I mean, I don't really... Why do you keep messing with your hat? It's so fun. All I've been watching you do is go like this. <laughs> All episodes. It's been so fun. Look, at the end of the day, yeah, like, I'm not having struggles like that. Yeah. So, like... My mum better give gifts and keep his pants zipped up. Exactly. I wish I had both. So you can get yourself... If I could do it, you could do it. If you could get... You could get yourself a boyfriend that can give you gifts and, you know, not cheat on you. But mm. I feel terrible saying that because I don't think that's right. Don't listen to me. Don't leave your boyfriend. Oh, we don't know. Our boyfriends might be treating... They might be sleeping with each other. Anything's happening these days. There's boys sleeping with their mother-in-laws. You know, you never know. Gingerbread and cows, they could be together. <laughs> My dear, we can't be doing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, I'm acting really funky, right? Yeah, I mean, it's this, hot chocolate. This, he- this hot chocolate and the hot chocolate chocolates. I've had only had chocolate today. And I think this hat, it makes me feel fuzzy. Yeah, It's me making too. me feel really fuzzy. Something like, about it. You know it. what? I actually do have this thing, yeah. Like, I don't know if I've ever told Hats you. Hats and gloves. Yeah. Me too. No, I told you. You lying. I've always had the same me. thing. I, I'm not hopping you. Hopping me. You're copying me. I've always had the You're same thing. You're copying me. When I wear gloves, yeah, I get this feeling, yeah. So when I put gloves on, I get this feeling my hand feels like it's going to fall off and it's like fuzzy, fuzzy yeah. feeling. Bzzz, I can't have the same thing. Nummy, weird feeling. Like, what is that? It's like a sick... I don't know, but I also get it holding hands. Really? Very and then now rarely, start, I, I won't. I don't really get it with hats, but I'm starting to get it now. Yeah. But gloves, oh my God. What is that? Yeah, it's really, really weird. weird. <laughs> so gutted that we cannot do the worst and best Christmas gifts for this episode because we are over our time. Um, but, but I feel like we will do it like a mini kind of vlog one. Maybe yeah. Christmas Eve or Christmas Day in our PJs, like a vlog one. And or just Patreon. And for Patreon. Just like a 10 minute one to make you laugh. Yeah. Um, and put it on Patreon. And I want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed. Yeah, honestly, everyone. Thank you to everyone that listens and anyway, comments, shares. But... An extra thank you to everyone that supports us on Patreon. You are our best Christmas gift. And you we are We love you guys. We hope you enjoyed our Christmas episode. Let's do one more. Man. We love you. Let's do it. This time I better win, bro. Bye! Yes, you won! Oh my God, it smells like... Smoking like ass. Shit. What is it? It's smoky ass. I don't know. What is this? What does it say? It's a message. What are they going to give in it? How many players are there in a volleyball team? I don't know, but they always have great asses. Ten. How the fuck would I know? Oh, six. Oh. Okay, the, cir- the circle of life. Where does that come from? Oh. Angel. Lion King. All right, bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Love you guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> bye bye. Grind season, brother. <laughs> Where's our crackers? There. Shall I get water quickly? Get me another one as well. I get thirsty. Hurry up, before the hot chocolate gets cold. Every single time. Anna makes the drink before we prepared. And then the drink gets cold and then we start and then, then we have to make another drink. I don't know how she knew to get these crackers that match our PJs. It's like she knows me. She's like, I had a feeling you were going to get PJs with this kind of print on it. What a fucking psychopath. How does she know me like that? I don't even know me. I don't even know who I am. It should be not in me. Come on, let's start. Right.